Fabric Mods. There are two major mod loaders. One is Forge, but the other is this one. It is Fabric, and Fabric Mods are some of the coolest out there. Additionally, Fabric Mods can be uh, better performing in a lot of ways than Forge Mods are. Fabric's also a lighter mod loader, meaning that it kind of has less features than Forge, but is also better for computers. So, that's one of the reasons that Fabric is so popular and so many mods do use it. Mods like Xero's Minimap, Better F3, and Sodium all do support it, and those are the three mods we're going to be installing today. However, this will work for any Fabric mods that are out there, as long as they're updated to Minecraft 1.19.1. So first things first, we do need to download the Fabric Mod Loader. This is found in the description down below as the second link down below, and it will take you here. Once you're here, scroll down and click the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Universal Jar little link here. The reason we're doing that is this is going to make all their Minecraft mods work for you if you install using the Download Universal Jar. The same cannot be said for the Download for Windows button, so we're going to click on the Download Universal Jar link there. When you do, Fabric Installer will download right away in the bottom left. You can keep the file in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. So keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it on Firefox. Now, we are also going to go ahead and download our mod, specifically the Fabric API is one of the mods we're going to be installing. This is an API mod that's required for a lot of Fabric mods, so I wanted to go ahead and install it in this video, even though all the mods we're installing here actually do not require it, which is kind of curious, but nevertheless, once we're here, this is linked in the description down below, as is every other thing I talk about in this video. I'm going to stop saying that. Everything I mentioned in this video is linked down below, but nevertheless, once you're here, scroll down, click the Download Fabric API button. And be taken to the Fabric API download page. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down and download the 1.19.1 Fabric API under the Minecraft 1.19 section. Boom. While that's downloading, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex, where you can easily start a Fabric server and add Fabric mods to it in just a couple clicks. They also support over 200 mod packs with one-click installation, and if you want plugins on your server, it's super easy to add those to Apex as well. Last but not least, Apex has 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support should you have an issue, and we also host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Fabric API is downloaded with all these mods, you may need to keep them in the bottom left or save them in the server screen on Google Chrome. As long as you're using our website and basically our links that we're providing, all mods should be safe to download. However, do make sure that they are .jar files and max the name of the mod that you're downloading if you're downloading from links that aren't from us. Nevertheless, next up on our list here is going to be Xero's Minimap. Xero's Minimap is a minimap mod, as the name implies, for Minecraft. The reason I wanted to install this specific mod, though, is it has both a Forge and a Fabric version. So if we come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down, we can see that under my Minecraft 1.19, we have for Forge, and we have for Fabric 1.19.1. We obviously want to download the Fabric version of the mod, so go ahead and click the orange download button next to the Fabric version of this mod, and just as all the other ones, it's going to take a few seconds to download. After that, we can move on to Better F3. This is a cool mod that adds in a Better F3 section. It makes it easier to use. You can customize your F3 screen. All stuff, all that stuff is possible with this mod. But same thing, right-hand side, scroll down. And this has both a Forge and Fabric version as well. It's also curious that the 119 version of this mod for Fabric does work in 1.19.1 as well. So that is something that is interesting and a bit odd for this specific mod. That's not going to be true with all mods. So do that with caution. Nevertheless, last but not least is Sodium. This is an amazing, amazing performance mod for Minecraft 1.19.1. And truthfully, I mean, you can see the results here. From 77 to 318 FPS, they do some uh, different uh, comparisons here with different hardware. Amazing what this will do. And you can again download it on the right-hand side. And again, Sodium 1.19 does work in 1.19.1 as well. Again, that's not universal. Beware if you install a mod that is for 119 and it doesn't work. That's perfectly normal, but in some cases it will work. Nevertheless, we can finally minimize our browser here, and we have a ton of stuff. Let's move it onto our desktop so we can keep it organized. To do that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen or bottom left of your screen. It may also be in the center of your screen if you're on Windows 11. Once you click on that, type in Downloads. We have this Downloads file folder here. Open this, and here's everything we downloaded. Drag and drop it all to our desktop, and let's organize it real fast. Once it's on our desktop, we have our mods. So that's going to be the Better F3 mod, Xero's Minimap, the Fabric API, and the Sodium mod, right? All of these are mods, all four of these. And then last but not least, we have the Fabric Installer. I'm actually going to be starting with the Fabric Installer, so let's do that. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or your icons look different than my icons, right? They just don't look like my icons. 
Well, in either case, you want to go ahead and download Java 17. Java 17 is required not only for Fabric mods, but also Forge mods. It is just required for Minecraft mods in general in 1.19.1. So come through here, download it, get Java 17. We have this complete in-depth guide. It goes over everything you need to know. Once you've got Java 17, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together, right? So go ahead and download jar fix as well. That's also going to fix your icons if they don't look like mine. Finally, right-click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer where you want to make sure 1.19.1 is selected and then click install. It's going to install the Fabric loader and just like that, much quicker than Forge, it is going to have it installed. Why was it quicker? Well, it's pretty simple. This is a lot lighter weight than the Forge mod loader. So go ahead, click OK there. We can close out of the Fabric installer and delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and install our Fabric mods here. To do that, we want to open the Minecraft launcher. Now, by default, you should automatically have this Fabric installation. So as you can see, Fabric loader 1.19.1, right there it is. Now, if you don't have the Fabric loader here, or if you do and it's uh, not the correct version, let's say it's 1.18, for example, in either of those cases, or even if you just want to install your mods, click on installations at the top. Everyone in this video needs to click on installations at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if modded is not checked, fabric's not there. So click modded there to make fabric appear. Now, if you do have this fabric loader 1.19.1, skip ahead just a few seconds in the video. But if you don't have this, go ahead and click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it custom fabric. 1.19.1 because this is the installation we're creating, right? So 1.19.1. .1. I'm going to click the latest release drop down here and then we want to select release fabric loader 1.19.1 .1 right here. When we have that selected, we're good to go. I'm also going to change the resolution so we can see once we get in game. Click create in the bottom right and now we have this fabric 1.19.1 .1 with the correct version, fabric loader 1.19.1 .1 under it. Nevertheless, hover over your fabric installation and click on the folder that appears. So from the installations tab here, click, hover over the fabric installation and click the folder. That's going to open up your .minecraft folder here, where you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, I don't either. Or actually, I do. But um, let's just delete that there. There we go. Now, I don't have a mods folder either. So go ahead and right-click on the left-hand side here. Click on New Folder. And title this Mods. M-O-D-S exactly like that. It must be titled Mods exactly like that. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Finally, to install your fabric mods, just drag and drop them into the mods folder. If you want to add more mods in the future, same thing. Just come in here to the Minecraft Installations tab, hover over this, click the mods folder, and go into your mods folder. Boom, there you go. I say click the mods folder here. Click the folder that appears here, and then go into your mods folder. Just basically add all your fabric mods here, and they're going to work, assuming they're for version 1.19.1. .1. Finally, we can come back to Minecraft. We can hover over our fabric loader installation, click play, click play to confirm playing modded Minecraft, and now Minecraft 1.19.1 .1 is going to open up with all of our mods installed. That includes better F3, but also Sodium and Xero's minimap. So let's go ahead, meet you on the main menu, and we'll check out these mods. So here we are on Minecraft. Now, as you can see, it does say at the bottom that Fabric modded is the version in the bottom left. That's the only way to know Fabric's installed because there's no mods button with Fabric. That is one of the downsides of Fabric. But if we go ahead and launch into a new world here because it's easier to create a new world, Fabric mods, and when we join in, we'll be able to see that Better F3 is working, we'll be able to see Xero's minimap, and we'll also be able to see Sodium. We could have checked out Sodium, I guess, from the options tab of the main menu, but it's gonna work in game as well. So here we are in game. You can see in the top left, there is Xero's minimap working like a charm. We can also go ahead and hit escape options, video settings, and here is the Sodium mod. You can see all the different performance and quality settings that you have with Sodium. And then last but not least, we do of course have better F3. So if we go ahead and hit F3, there it is. Beautiful, but overwhelming. That's one of the cool things. You can customize it and take some of that away, but it does give you a ton of information about your game. So awesome stuff. So there's how you can install Fabric Mods in Minecraft 1.19.1. .1. Should you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And again, be careful where you are downloading your Fabric Mods from. Make sure it is the official download page for the mod. Usually that's going to be found on Curse Forge, but in some cases it can be on an official website for the mod. Things like Minecraft 9 or 9 Minecraft are not official official links and should not be used to download mods. So nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.